and the best of luck. Now, girl band success stories are few and far between. For every Spice Girls, there's been a Reynolds Girls. And uh, when the Girls Aloud arrived on the scene almost a decade ago, off the back of pop stars' arrivals, they could well have easily ended up as just another flash in the pan. But despite the competition, the Fab Five have forged incredible success, not only as a group, but as individuals, with our next guest proving she's more than equipped to fly solo. Please welcome Nicola Roberts. <laughs> been since you were last in an environment like this it's been years since you've released music music hasn't it um i think the last time girls Love released a record was 2009 so a couple of years yeah, yeah. a little while this, this is your first solo this isn't is it? the first single yeah so i mean i'm okay now i'm starting to like really i'm actually really enjoying myself really having a really good time well we'll try and stop that but before <laughs> <laughs> but like a month or two ago when i'd first started i was like Oh my God! Did I even think this through? What am I even doing here? But no, I'm. Did I'm you have much a kind of confidence crisis? Is that what it was? Just a sense of. It was really surreal to be in the situation where I have my own record, like, and I am um, going out there as a solo artist was just so alien for me to to think about and to ever kind of look to it was so alien. And then I was, now I'm in the position where I am a solo is artist it, and I have my own record and it's really bizarre. Is mm -hmm. it quite nice? I mean, um, I don't know if you know, I was in a girl group. <laughs> I <didn't know. laughs> Before you were born, unfortunately. <laughs> Do you know, I also, can I just say, we used to dance in our little troupe to your song. Oh. <laughs> we did. We did. It's always been my favourite. Oh. <laughs> um, like the Obi Wan. No, Kenobi. does it? Does it, <laughs> does it feel like, all right, don't ruin it. <laughs> um, does it feel weird when all of a sudden people are asking, um, "What do you think of this?" Do you look round for the? Because when you're in a group, it has to be that. You yeah, know, you have that total network of support. Yeah. Um, now you have to make your own decisions. Yeah. And it, 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 I kind of I feel like I am old enough now and in a in a confident place where. I have no qualm in answering a question. Mm. I have no doubt about making a decision. Um, whereas maybe like two, th like three years ago, I would have very much kind of let the that. others yeah. do. You started so young though, didn't you? When way, you first yeah. went to Girls Aloud, were you 16 or 17? We'd, oh, we were doing the audition process to get into the band at 16. And by the time the band was formed, I'd just turned 17. And then you were given a very hard ride, weren't you, by the press and by everything. So maybe yeah. that's why your confidence was sort of a bit lower than the other girls. I was just so terrified of saying the wrong thing. And, and to me, being in such an important situation, being in the band and being in this, such, you know, an important, an important situation and terrified to say the wrong thing mm -hmm. or say something out of turn and then it be your fault or... I don't know, I just... I didn't... I didn't necessarily believe in what I had to say that much, so I'd prefer to just not speak at all and then I couldn't get anything wrong, whereas now I'm just like, whatever. Do you think you'll stay like that when, when you get back together with the I girls? I think so, yeah. Hopefully we'll, um, yeah. Do you well, think you'll get like that? There's obviously, let's just clear it up for once and for all, because we read all kinds of things. It's the 10th anniversary coming up. Will we hear more material from you? Will we see some performances from you to mark that? I think... I think that we have to absolutely, and we want to celebrate the 10th anniversary together. I think that it would be a crying shame if we didn't. Mm. Like so I, of all the girls have kind of spoken to... and agreed that they'll they'll try to make that happen. Something I can't say. You know, I can't. It's not that time yet. Yeah. Um, but I think the tenth anniversary is going to be exciting. Mm. Good stuff. That's what we like to hear. Now, another difficult question for you. Did you see loose women pretending to be girls allowed on children I in need? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I thought it was great. Did you? Yeah. Did the girls all text each other? Um, I think a couple of messages <laughs> sent over, but we loved it. We mm. were like, oh, we wanted to be doing it. <laughs> did you? I thought they, they looked fantastic. Did you hear Carol's vocals? Were you impressed by that? <laughs> Very. <laughs> absolutely. And the dresses, the hair. Yeah, they did it well. Really I good. thought that they were going to do like a, um, can't say a bad word. A Mickey take. <laughs> yeah. A Mickey take. A Mickey take. So but I was wasn't, expecting maybe. like yeah. big ginger hair and like, I don't know, Sarah's like rocky hair, but it, it was it was very conservative. They were so And you nervous. chose to do the latter 
part yeah. rather than the earlier days. So yeah. it was kind of like, what's it going to be like? Mm. And then it was okay. <laughs> so I think actually the girls realised how difficult some of your songs are to sing and how, yeah. how good you all are because mm. the harmonies are, are really tight with Girls Aloud. And you've made some great pop records. Uh, but away from, from a very busy professional life, you also have a very happy home life, don't you? Yes. Um, how is it going on the man front? Good, really good. He's uh, Charlie. We've been going out, I think it's three years in September. It's a long time. And was he supportive of you? Very. Making the, el the, really, done the album? Really, like I would come home and really understanding at the same time as well i think when you're making a record you get out of it as much as what you put in and i, I was i was writing so it was like at write your own lyrics yeah so i was um at the studio from 11 and then some, till sometimes four in the in the morning and i'd get home and i think previously it'd be like oh gosh it's so late and whereas he's like wake up at four, did you have a good day, how did it go, uh, What play me what you made, and then I'd be back again at 11 o'clock in the morning, so it was really difficult, like we spent a lot of time away, but he's so understanding, and he's really enthusiastic. Hold on to him then. <laughs> Hold on Keep to a him. good man. You're going to perform for us now, aren't you? I am. Okay, we're going to get yourself ready, but for now, ladies Thank and gentlemen, you. let's hear it for Nicola. <laughs>